Welcome back to Nikki's Nerfies. Nick Mackin here with Pick Dogs. Today is August 9th, 2023, and on this show, all we care about is the first six outs of a ball game. A Nerfie means no runs first inning, while a Yerfie means yes runs first inning. But before I get into my free plays, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have over 136,000 subscribers and growing daily. And if you're looking for my top plays, my premium picks, head on over to PickDogs.com and check out the premium picks tab. That's where you'll find my MLB lock of the day for just $20. And best of all, all of our daily packages come with credit guarantee. You can read more about that on our website under any daily package we cappers have to offer. Now, since recording in yesterday's plays, we are one and one on the Nerfies. We got a Yerfie um, going on later on tonight in Milwaukee where the Milwaukee Brewers take on the Colorado Rockies, I do believe. Um, there will be a run coming across in that first inning. So hopefully we can go two and one and finish on a positive note in yesterday's games. Let's roll right back into this. Let's get back on this sweep of a day. I'm feeling good about the games I've selected today. Game number one, we got the Miami Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds. Right now for the Miami Marlins, Johnny Cueto will be on the mound with an 0-3 record and a 5.32 ERA. He'll be matched up against the Cincinnati Reds Ashcraft with a 6-7 record and a 5.18 ERA. Um, I must say, Johnny Cueto does remind me of a little bit of a Marcus Stroman. His tempo, um, his presence on the mound, the way he carries himself each inning. Um, granted, with this new pitch clock, um, I think Johnny's still trying to work it out in, in his way that he um, commands that sort of tempo like he usually did in the past, but um, his last outing looked a little sharper um, for this Miami Marlins ball club, Cueto, that is. Um, I think he'll be more locked in and ready to go as he sinks in with this team. And you got Ashcraft. Ashcraft pitches a lot better at home. Uh, the Cincinnati Reds have been slowing down in their run production. That's why I'm looking at strictly the starting pitchers in this matchup. I think both of these starters will come ready to go from pitch number one. That's why in game number one, between the Miami Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds, we're smacking the nerfy. No runs, first inning. Let's roll into game number two. Between the Kansas City Royals and the Boston Red Sox. Right now for the Kansas City Royals, we got Lyles on the bump again. He's 3-12 and 12 this season with a 6.24 ERA. He'll be matched up against the Boston Red Sox, Paxton, with a 6-3 and three record and a 3.6 ERA. Um, every time Lyles is on that mound, I tend to uh, to aim right at him. I mean, he's three and twelve. He's having an awful season this year. He gives up a ton of runs, especially early on in ball games. Um, Lyles usually doesn't go past the fourth or fifth inning. Um, you know, with a 6.24 ERA, this game's played in Fenway. The Boston Red Sox have an explosive top of the order of the lineup. Um, I'm strictly looking at the Boston Red Sox to jump on my guy Lyles over here for that Kansas City Royals team. And the Kansas City Royals are upping their run productions, especially um, in this second half of the season. Um, they've been a lot better offensively. So uh, we'll see if the Kansas City Royals can scrape one against Paxton, but I'm leaning more towards this Boston Red Sox top of the order getting the Lyles in that first inning. That's why in game number two between the Kansas City Royals and the Boston Red Sox, we're smacking the year feed. Yes, runs first inning. Let's so roll into our third and final game that I've selected for you again between the Houston Astros and the Baltimore Orioles. Right now for the Houston Astros, Javier will be on the mound with a 7-2 and record and a 4.39 ERA. He'll be matched up against the Baltimore Orioles Flatterty with an 8-6 and record with a 4.28 ERA. Um, I'm going right back at it. Yesterday's matchups, we had the Nerfy in this matchup, um, the Houston Astros and the Baltimore Orioles, while the Baltimore Orioles scored two in that bottom half of the first inning. Um, Mountcastle uh, hit a two-run bomb. Not uh, ideal for us, but I'm going right back into it because we got Javier on the road. Javier is 7-2. He pitches decent on the road. And then Flatterty, I mean, he's with the new ball club. He looked great in his first outing against the, or for this Baltimore Orioles team, I should say. Um, I like Flatterty and I like Javier on the bump in this matchup. Granted, both of these offenses are powerful, but I think it's a big-time uh, matchup between two big-time pitchers, um, especially this season. So that's why in game number three, between the Houston Astros and the Baltimore Orioles, we are smacking the Nerfie. No runs first inning. 
Let's take a recap of the games I've selected. Game number one, between the Marlins and the Reds, we're hitting the Nerfie. Game number two, between the Royals and the Red Sox, we're hitting the Yerfie. Yes, Ron's first inning. And game number three, between the Astros and the Orioles, we are hitting the Nerfie. Once again, this is Nick Menken with Pick Dogs. If you have not done so, smack that like button. Helps me out a ton, and it costs you none. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're looking for my premium picks, my MLB lock of the day, check that description below. The link is there. And let's get back on this rally train.